What's up you guys? So it's your girl April and today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree makeup look. Okay? Mm. Now first of all, I already did this look. Um, not this particular look, but I've already used Dollar Tree makeup in a prior video probably like a year ago. And it really turns out really nice. So this time around, I'm going to do it again. They did have some really cute new LA Colors matte eyeshadow palettes. Really cute. Um, really cute, see cute, see cute, see. Um, but I'm gonna put this a little spin on this for you guys. If you guys are not familiar with, you will be today. What? Shopmissa.com, where everything is one buck. Okay, mm, one buck. And they have loads of makeup. So everything is a dollar. You may find some else things from there, like this right here, which is the concealer that I already had to do off camera, my eyebrows. And crazy thing, I use the LA Colors eye, um, what is this? It eyebrow eye pencil and dark brown. It actually works out great. For a buck, you get two pencils, and a daggone sharpener. So what do you say to that? I do have some things from Shop Miss A and I will post that link down below. You girls could get your budget friendly makeup look on with Shop Miss A. Not everything is gonna be bomb, but you will find a lot of things on that website for a dollar. Everything is a dollar on Shop Miss A. And if you don't believe me, you can check the link below. I've done many videos for them. You can get loads and stuff. Not just makeup, but hair accessories, jewelry. It's not gonna be the best jewelry in the world, but for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. So let's just start off with priming our face. So it's kind of runny. I don't really know about this. It is really runny. I don't really want to tell y'all what it reminds me of, but it's white and creamy and it reminds me of that. Yeah, we are gonna leave that for another video, like a real talk. So I'm gonna try to use this for like some type of eyeshadow concealer or primer. For my transition color, I'm going to go ahead and use this right here, the LA Color. Let's try this LA Colors Matte Shadow Palette. I'm going to use this color here. Let's see how that works out. Not really seeing anything, so maybe I should just use a different brush. Something that's a little bit more denser. Okay, I'm getting some color payoff, but not really much. Uh, what I'm gonna do, because I don't really see any color, I'm gonna just use the Dollar um, Pressed Powder from Shop Miss A, which is Clean Colors, and see how that comes out. Okay, that is probably just as good as it's going to get. Hopefully, I can pick up some color with this one right here. Gotta work a little bit harder, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm gonna take this one here, same palette. I didn't even go into the other LA Colors palette. And I'm gonna use this darker brown right here. So bad. So we're gonna use this one from the Dollar Tree. This is also LA Colors. It's like a little black book. Look at the colors. They're like all shimmered up. Color right here at the top. Okay. Let me try this one down here. But I did get some color on my lid, so I mean, look, one little dot is enough for one lid. I'm serious, like, I mean, I'm just joking, but 
you ain't really gonna get much out of it. But hey, it was a dollar, so I'm like going into both colors thinking I'm gonna get more pigment. And it seems like it's coming out a little bit better when I do it like that. You gotta pack this on, like, you know, you really can't sweep. But I bet you if I had like really good um, eyeshadow primer on, this would really work. Oh, this eye look better than this one. Let me see something. Okay, so I got me something going on for a dollar shit. I'm gonna try to kind of like glitter up this eye right here with this color right here. Oh, yes. Okay, hunty. Yes. It's called layering. Layering your eyeshadow when it is only a dollar. Right, okay. Coming through, coming through. I look. I'm going to go back into this clean colors. All right. Now, we're going to go for this eyeliner, LA Colors eyeliner, which is also a dollar. So for this, I need silence because I am not the best at doing any type of liquid eyeliner look. So let's all take a moment of silence right now. Now watch this eye be giving me like hell. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so now for the mascara. I have the LA Colors um, Volumizing Mascara in black. Now, I was gonna use my Beauty Blender, but then I was like, nah, girl, don't even go there because it's gonna soak up the product, so. Ooh, I'm gonna use this right here, LA Colors in the color tan. Hopefully it is my color. So it looks like the, a good color. We shall see. The smell reminds me of like old makeup. For this, you might wanna kinda like tap it in. The coverage seems really sheer. Okay, so it gave me like a really kind of like nice light coverage. Sometimes you do want to go for that very fair looking makeup look, honeys. But your girl got some extra on the back of her hand still, so you know I'm gonna put a little bit more. Like I said, you might have to layer. You know, I'm just trying to like layer. Um, there's like a little blotchy side right here. See that? Not cool. For the pressed powder, I don't really know if I want to touch, I mean not for the pressed powder, for the highlight, I don't really know if I want to use this because of the look of this. I think I'm going to get my beauty blender for this. This I'm definitely going to have to get my beauty blender for. This is as good as I can get it. I am now going to beat my face with this. This is the LA Colors one. Now, just to fix the color, because it's a little bit too light, I'm gonna just use this one. Oh my God, hope this works. For my eyeshadow on the bottom, my go-to palette now, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this color here. Sweep that at the bottom of my eyes. Look at that. Bam. Take this white right here. 
Bam. Coming through, coming through, looking like a million bucks when I want me a dollar. I'm gonna use some of this dollar eyebrow eyeliner pencil. It's black, dark brown, but for a little bit of contour. Got these two blushes from LA Color. The contour I'm gonna use baked. Let's try this out. This is the eyeshadow shimmer. Let's try this out. If not, I got something as a backup. And it's not even shimmery like that. Wow. LA Colors. This is not even shimmered. Go. Oh, whoa. Shh. My bad. This shit is shimmered. It looks matte, but oh my god. This, mmm, I said this, this, mmm. Woo! So this one is the Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. It's got a little tiny hole, but just sprinkle it out on something, and oh my God, you will be like high freaking lighted. But it really does not look like it has any shimmer to it when you pour it out but in the bottle that stuff looks shimmered in the bottle but then when you pour it out it's like it looks all matte it looks like regular setting powder and then when you put it on a brush it's like do you see that glow what oh i'm thinking this is what i'm gonna be using all the time i'm gonna use this clean colors this is from shop miss a so this is what i have for my lips because i didn't really want to put any lip balm on so it's like this Dark purple color. It's pretty color now. Hmm. So I'm gonna try this, which is an eyeshadow pencil from Shop Miss A. It is by Princessa. I don't know, but let me put the hair on and I'm gonna find a cheap dollar lipstick from the dollar store. Okay guys, so yes, I changed the background because I'm about to do a wig video. So these two are also from Shop Miss A. And they're from Clean Color and Madly, oh, Clean Color, Clean Color Madly Mask. And I'm going to try this one first. So, this is, hmm, my finished look for a dollar. Super cutesy, mm-hmm. For a dollar, you cannot go wrong. You just got to do a little bit of layering, you know, a little bit of layering. So, yes, check this wig out. But, yes, you guys, so I see you on an upcoming video. Stay diva and divolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up. And I'll see you guys real soon.